box. Wow. Sealed box. That's what we're going to talk about today. A sealed box. This box. No, not this box. Oh, not this, this box. This is a sealed box, but we're not yes. going to talk about this one today. Ah. Okay. That's my lunch. Oof. That's a little bit. No, this is quite heavy. How much are you eating? Not enough. Are you sure? Well, well yes. Um, yes, so... It's all fresh air. We're going to talk about your house, your flat. And in essence, a way of trying to keep the heat in, you kind of create a sealed box. Ah, yes. Yeah. So, what we're talking about there is in an older property, mm -hmm. you saw a lot of natural leakage where the air infiltrated in and out of the building naturally. Right. Through the gaps and cracks within the building envelope. Right, I've got you, yeah. And that still happens even within new build properties. Ah. There is still some form of air movement in and out of the property. Happening, I've got you. However, what we're doing in modern times and with new build is sealing these buildings up to make them more airtight. Like the sealed box? Mm. Like the sealed box. To uh -huh. keep the heat in and reduce your heating costs, which we know you like. Sounds good to me. Yeah. So how are we sealing them up? Oh, well, loft insulation. Loft insulation. Floor insulation. Wall. Cavity wall cavity insulation. insulation. The layers are getting deeper and deeper yeah. in the loft, are they? What like windows? Yeah, I like them. Like them? Yeah. Do they open? That was a nice the one. That was a moped, that moped one, wasn't one. it? Yeah. The opening window. Uh, that's really warm. Yeah, double oh, yeah. glazing. Double glazing, maybe triple glazing in some cases. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're all sealing that building up to keep the heat in the right. building envelope. So making them more energy efficient, which is great for mm -hmm. the energy efficiency of the building. Good for the environment. Got a question. Not wasting energy. Oh, go on. What about air movement then? What about the ventilation? Well, if it's airtight to keep the heat that's in. That's the big problem. Ah. Yeah. See, lots of older buildings. Yep. Had a lot of natural leakage. Yes. <laughs> Wasn't great for keeping the heat in. No. If anything, they were probably overventilated. I see. With buildings now, we're making them tighter to keep that heat in, but we've now reduced that natural ventilation. Think about it. Think of a colander. Okay. So, got it? I've got it. There's a hundred holes in it. Fill it with water. How quickly does that water empty out? Shh. Even empty out would be a better word. I'm up to number 10. Do I have to do 100? Okay. No, just think about it. Just oh, just think about it. I'm thinking about it. It's very quick. So think about imagine. It, I'm, I'm imagining. Even a bucket with 100 holes in the bottom. Oh, Fill amazing. it with water. Yeah. Water goes out quite quickly. Yes. Yeah. Good. Glad you imagine this. I didn't want to get a real bucket because it's electrics around and everything, and we know water and electrics. Oh, don't mix. Don't mix. Yeah. Okay. Safety first. Now think of it. Seal 95 of those holes up. Okay. Yeah. How many holes you got left? Comes not left. many. Five. How many is not many? Five. Five, good. I'm glad you can do the maths. Five holes. Let's say two of those holes are your extract fan. Okay. Now fill it with water. Yep. How long does it take that water to empty out? Now you've only got the five holes. Uh, five, three holles. Three, three holes, holes plus, plus two. Three two fans. We've turned the fans on so they're sucking a little bit. Ah, uh, right. So it's five holes. Yeah. How long does it take? Yeah. Can you do the maths on that? A lot of boring math later. Five holes an hour? Uh, something like that, yeah. Takes a lot longer. Right. And that's what we're doing with a house. We're putting all these contaminants that we're going to cover in a minute in this sealed box. Right. But because we've reduced all these holes that were naturally letting the air in and out of that house. Natural leakage. That's the one. Gotcha. Glad you remembered it, because I didn't. Good. Okay, we've now sealed a lot of those holes up and we're more reliant now on just the three holes and the two fans. Right. The two fans now have a greater job to do to get rid of all of those contaminants. So you're more reliant on them. Right, okay, so yes, this sealed box, although sounds great, can also bring problems. Yeah, it can give you poor indoor air quality so, if the dwelling isn't ventilated. So, right. oh, it's misunderstood so then, it's isn't it? It's balance. Yes. <clears throat> so it's great, but we have always need to consider as so we make that box tighter, yep. or we build a nice new, really airtight box, you we build really house? need to consider good ventilation. Right. Because we're more reliant on the ventilation strategy to move air in and out of that property. Right. And that's what we're talking about. And when you look at our sealed box, I mean, if you could see some of the contaminants in there, if it wasn't ventilated correctly, you probably wouldn't go in it. Oh, the old viral soup. Because <clears throat> we always go out, 
for fresh air. Yeah, I don't feel so good. Just pop outside for a bit of fresh air. That's it. So you can never go indoors for fresh air. No, go outdoors for that's fresh very air. true. So we need to make sure the air in the building is fresh and good indoor air quality is key. Ah, fantastic. So what have we got within that sealed box? Oh, contaminants. Contaminants? What oh, sort of contaminants? So the VOCs. Ooh, VOCs are volatile organic compounds. Well said. Just waiting for the audience to see if they can say that. Not VOCs, volatile organic compounds. Where do they come from? Uh, I don't know. Can you go buy them? Hairspray. Oh, you You'd know all on, about that, wouldn't you? You had to pick on yeah. that, didn't Hairspray you? Hairspray has VOCs in it. Candles. We all know about the candles. Those lovely scented candles around your bath. Why are you getting the bubbles in? Your glass of wine. Your face mask on. <sighs> Oof. Red on. Radons. radons. Radons, pull you back mm. in the room there, yes. sort of radons. disappearing into the uh, twilight we'll of the bath. radons on another, uh, another video for you. Condensation. Um, condensation, which Ooh. leads to mold. mold. No song that could rhyme with that. Yes. Yeah. But we won't go into that. No. You've heard my singing. Yes. Yes. Mold. Oh. That's the one. Yeah, that'll do. Sorry. That'll do. Yeah, we'll cut that out. Uh, no. Forgot where we are now. Talking about the contaminants. What else have we got? Oh, yeah, good question. Condensation, mould. Yes. Oh, those lovely little blighters. Oh, yes. Dust mites. Yes. Yes. This so, is where marketing won't like me. Loads of them running across. Computer says no. <laughs> they're little anthropids, I believe they're called. Oh, that's a big word, isn't it? An insect with way. eight legs. Insects you know, linked together with spiders and things like that. Yes. And believe it or not, they're actually so tiny you can't see them with a the naked eye. Less than a millimetre. I can't see a lot with a naked eye. <laughs> so I need my glasses. The old jam jars yeah. on. The old yeah. jam jars on. Yeah. But I don't wear them for this because it reflects on the camera, apparently. But I'm just making that up then. That's fine, that's just, fine, that's quite all right. So pretty, that's all. So there's quite a lot of contaminants in there. Obviously, in low levels, they're okay, but we need to make sure we can control them and give us a good mm. air quality. Because obviously, people can get quite ill. I mentioned it before. I think one in five homes suffer from condensation and mold. Deal, yeah. yeah, up to fifty percent of illnesses are aggravated by poor indoor air quality. Fifty yeah, percent. That's a lot of illnesses. Yeah. yeah. So um, breathing problems, asthma. Yeah. All so things like this. It's really important that we ventilate the properties right as we seal them up. Yeah. So. How good is your sealed box and how well ventilated is it? Mine's okay. Mm. I think. Well, I don't have any condensation mold. I sometimes have a little. I don't want to mention any particular names. An air quality monitor. Oh, well done. It monitors the air quality and it just shows a, a, a green light if it's good or a blue light. Then it goes orange and it goes red and says, Your air quality is quite bad. Right. That's oh. normally when I'm cooking. <laughs> it's not linked to the smoke alarm, Oh, no, that's, a that's when the missus is cooking. Yeah, that's when the missus is cooking <laughs> as well. Anyway, you get the idea. But when it's well ventilated, the air quality is always good. But right. it's also a matter of making sure you don't over-ventilate because then you're going to lose all your heat in the winter time. Right, it's a fine balance. So, so you want fine balance. ventilation in a controlled manner. That's the one. Controlled manner. Sounds like fabulous. So I think really, from a sealed box perspective, I think we've hopefully covered a little bit about what people understand. Yeah. What they know. I think on that one, if you like, subscribe, watch more, learn more, see, see you soon. soon.